This Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Pressed Powder. Four of them are sold every minute around the world. Four are sold every minute around the world. Hey everyone, I'm Matthew. Welcome back to What the Dupe, a show where we find test and tell you about our favorite beauty dupes. Today we are talking about the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Setting Powder versus the number seven Lift and Luminate Setting Powder. The dewy luminous look is like very popular right now, but you don't want your face to look like an ice skating rink. So it's nice to really lock in all of the products you have with a powder without taking away the luminous finish of the look you're trying to go for. So I love this product by Charlotte Tilbury. I have been using it for so long. This is $46, this is $12.99. So if this is an actual dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder, I'm gonna die because I have been spending so much money on this the entire time and like, where have I been, you know? The Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder is sold out all the time. So is the bronzer, so are, so are all of the products by Charlotte Tilbury. She's just really stuck the landing on making products that are very versatile and like really do give you a red carpet look for every day. And everyone wants to look like they're beautiful and glowing and amazing all the time, but it is expensive and it's always sold out. So it's great to find alternatives, which is why I'm super excited to put this to the test. I am always trying to keep my skin flawless throughout the day. I powder my T-zones a lot because I'm, I tend to be oily in those areas. I have combination skin, so the T-zones are shiny at all times but you can use this product kind of all over the place i will always put like a loose translucent powder under my eyes to bake and then if i want to set i put this on top and it really does help lock all of the makeup in let's get into the application test for these products first i'm going to start with the charlotte tilbury powder and i'm just going to press it into the skin you don't want to like wipe all around you gotta just like be really strategic about the way that you apply it disclaimer i do have a foundation on so this is going to show what, it, what the product looks like with foundation like I just feel like it gives this like instant mattifying effect and I'll even go on the T-zone. It's like, it's, it's magic, it really is, I do love it. Instantly mattified, I love it. It feels weightless, you don't feel it on your face. And also this product, what I love about it is powders do have a reputation of being cakey after a while. So this product does not get that way. It's so easy to apply, a little does go a long way. Yes, it is buildable say it with me buildable shiny not shiny shiny not shiny matte but also still luminous too like you want to have like a glow and look natural but yeah feels feels perfect there's no scent to this there's no fragrance to this product if that's something that you want to stay away from yep none, none of that mattifying easy lightweight it does not feel like i have anything on my face all right let's go in with number seven i'm super nervous i'm gonna use a similar brush so this product feels the same it feels very lightweight it doesn't feel like it's like sitting on top of the skin it just feels like it's like up being applied very naturally this is very illuminating and it is also mattifying so this is the charlotte tilbury press powder in shade two medium and this is the Lift and Luminate in shade light. So these blend really well together on my face, as you can see. I think it's really interesting how makeup companies have been able to perfect and really like fine tune powders. And so they don't look very like talky and like weird on your face now. These are meant to give a natural finish and really just enhance subtly while also mattifying and illuminating at the same time. It's really interesting to see the technology that makeup companies have been able to finesse. I gotta tell you, the number seven is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. I love it. It does the same exact thing. It mattifies while staying luminous. It does not feel cakey, does not feel weird and talky. I am very impressed. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of What the Dupe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications and let us know which dupes you wanna see next.